What's up guys, this is David. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, small overview of my 2021 Model Y Performance. Um, this is wrapped in the khaki gloss, khaki green by Inno, Innozitech, Innozitech, Innozitech. And uh, anyway, uh, last week, if you got my video, uh, we did a small comparison between a glossy uh, tire gel from Chemical Guys on the rear tire, and then we did the 303 Protect It on the front, and guys, <laughs> um, it's only been a week, and now we did have one day that we had a little bit of rain, but it's only been a week, and not really gonna show you because both tires look like I didn't put anything on them, so um, maybe that's normal. Uh, but again, we're gonna um, compare two other brands here in the very near future. If you guys have any suggestions um, about what two brands you think I should compare, please leave those down in the comments below. But today's video, mainly guys, is going to go over the interior stuff on the display. Uh, I just got the latest update, which is the 2021.4.15. And uh, there's some cool features with Boombox. And for those that don't have the Teslas yet, or just getting theirs, uh, I'll just show you some of the tips and tricks that I've learned so far in navigating through the whole display. So super cool stuff. And then I'm going to upload uh, some new cool sounds. Um, some people think it's cool. Um, some of it's a little crazy. And there's some crazy sounds in there uh, that you can make, not only when it's driving uh, or when you summon the vehicle or uh, on the honk horn uh, or honking the horn. So anyway, stay with me and I'll show you some stuff on the inside. What's up guys? All right, so now we're in the vehicle. Um, again, one of the things I've upgraded to my um, Model Y is I put this cool uh, green light in the console. And I really like it. I, I never change the color, but uh, just cause green car, I like green. So maybe I'll put some lights in the uh, footwells at some point. The lights that are in the vehicle aren't very bright. Um, so that's okay. But anyway, I wanna show you real quick and I'll move the camera so you guys see uh, how all the display stuff works and how where everything's kind of laid out. Hey right, guys, here we go. So now we're in the vehicle and we're looking at the display. So this is, um, you know, what it looks like when you first get in the vehicle. You got your big old map over here that you can obviously move around. It's very, very responsive. And I actually have a flat mat um, uh, screen protector on here. So, um, you know, obviously you can press any of these things to lock the vehicle. You can press right here to open the trunk, press right here to open the front. Um, as easy as that, if you swipe, um, you have some, you know, miles, minutes, um, since your last charge, you swipe again and just have that, you swipe again, then you got your PSI for all your tires. And, you know, let's go to your main menu. So we have, Main menu right, right here, you have your quick controls. You can set your exterior lights to auto come on, um, you know, off, parking, that sort of thing. Front fogs, if you want to be on or off. To control your mirrors, you just select the button here. <laughs> then you select, you want know, left or right. And then right here with the steering wheel, once you select which mirror you're gonna use, then with the steering wheel, you can actually yeah, move it up, down, left, right, and all those sort of things. And then you can have it where it auto tilts in or folds in when you turn off the vehicle, which I love. Um, so, um, as we go down further, you have window locks, display brightness, you know, pretty, pretty self-explanatory there. I mean, right here we have a glove box button. So, press the button, glove box opens. Let's go down to the next one. We have lights. You know, um, I always have mine on auto, but there's your headlights, front fogs. Just another place to access them. Dome lights, I have mine on auto. You know, those are your ambient lights, which, are, which is your lights underneath. Um, again, they're not extremely bright. Um, I will probably change mine out eventually. But auto high beams, um, steering wheel lights. Uh, steering wheel lights are the lights that are on the buttons on the scroll wheels. And <laughs> there's no... Uh, brightness control, but they're, they're not extremely bright, but I think they're just, just the right amount um, to backlight the buttons uh, at night. So let's go to locks. Now I just have my phone on there, but you could add more keys, more people, more uh, mobile devices on there to control the car, as far as unlocking it, locking it, that sort of thing. Um, and then I have mine where you can do walk away door lock. So 
I like it where um, as soon as it senses that I've walked away uh, past a certain distance, I don't have to touch anything. It's super awesome. It automatically locks the doors and folds in the mirrors. Um, and then we have <laughs> notifications. You can have it send you a notification if you left your uh, doors open or doors and windows open, which um, I have that checked. And uh, lock, com lock confirmation sound, close the window. So uh, that's all in that menu. Let's go to display. Display mode. Um, I have mine on auto, so auto goes from, from day to night. Uh, you can set it to whatever you want. Again, brightness. You can adjust your brightness. I have mine at 3%. But see how bright it gets, guys? Oh my gosh. So I have mine fairly low. I don't like it super bright. <laughs> um, and then you have screen cleaning mode. You know, obviously, so you can wipe down your screen, you know, touch screen, English, whatever language, voice recognition, English or whatever language, and voice navigation, English or whatever language. Um, right here gives you the options of choosing 12 hour or 24 hour. Um, the energy display. So that's kind of cool. Um, I don't know if you can see at the top, but right here, right where it says I have 236 miles left on the battery. So I can actually change that to energy. And now it says I have 79% of battery left. So it depends if you like percentages or if you like distance. So I've gone back and forth. For right now, I've got it on distance. So, um, of course, you can choose your type of distance, kilometers or miles, temperature, Celsius or Fahrenheit. And then tire pressure, same thing, bar or PSI. Uh, so pretty self-explanatory right there. So we'll go to driving. Now, uh, depending if you have a performance model, um, you, know, you may or may not have these options. Um, I have chill and sport. I always keep mine in sport. Um, <laughs> I don't travel a lot, so I don't, I don't do a lot of long distance driving. I guess if I did, um, I would probably switch it over to chill, probably get a little better uh, mileage, but um, I drive kind of for fun, so I I would keep it in sport. <laughs> so steering mode, I haven't tried sport, honestly. Um, I've always kept it in standard. So maybe I might try that to see uh, what I notice as differences. Now, stopping mode. So I like it on hold and it tells you what hold does, but you know, when, when you go to a stoplight or stop sign and you go come to a complete stop without you having to keep your foot on the brake, if you have it on hold, it'll, out, out, it'll automatically go into a hold and it'll let you know that it goes into hold and it's not going to roll, um, you know, forward or anything like that. So, um, I think most people probably have theirs on hold, but you could try creep or roll, but, uh, I like hold. <laughs> and then you have off-road assist and slip start to help free the vehicle. If it's stuck in snow, sand, or mud, we don't get a lot of that here in Oklahoma. So I have yet to try that. Um, so, now, for those that have autopilot, you will have these features. Of course, everything is still in beta. So, a matter of fact, I remember when we first got the car that we had to check off a whole bunch of stuff saying that, you know, it's still in beta. You uh, are still responsible as a driver, all that kind of stuff. So, um, but you can customize navigation on autopilot, um, enable start. I mean, all these different cool features. Um, the green light traffic chime, that's pretty cool. I have it on. Um, I don't, I guess I don't always pay attention at the stoplight. Uh, so it's kind of cool if you're up within the first car or two. Sometimes it's done it when I'm in the second car, but most of the time it's if you're the first car in line at the light, um, if it turns green, then it'll chime. It's kind of let you know, Hey dummy, it's time to go. <laughs> um, and then you have customized summon so you can do your summon distance, how far it can summon the vehicle. Um, and then side clearance, uh, you have standard or tight. Uh, I guess depending on you know how much room you wanted to give yourself uh, on around the vehicle. I have mine on standard. That's all I've needed it for. I have not tried it in tight. Um, required continuous press. Yes, I like that. So as soon as I let off the button, I know that it's um, going to uh, <laughs> stop or you know keep going if I, if I got to press or not. So. Um, bumper corner. So all, all these are very customizable settings for something, which is super cool. Navigation. Um, I used to have automatic navigation on, but it drove me nuts. So every time I got in my vehicle, it was always trying to take me to my home or my work. Um, and I wasn't always going there. So I, I stopped with automatic navigation. Um, but you have, 
you know, reroute if it saves more, then you can adjust this up or down 10 minutes, whatever. Avoid ferries, avoid tolls, uh, use HOV lanes, which we do not have here in Oklahoma. So, uh, and that's it for navigation. And then you have uh, volume control for your navigation. So when it's talking to you, um, telling you your directions, you can um, adjust the volume up and down. Or you can mute. So sometimes you don't want it telling you directions. You just want to see the directions. Just um, select it right here and mute the volume. So, and I do that a lot. <laughs> Safety and security. Allow mobile access. It's checked. Um, speed limit mode. <laughs> I do not have it uh, checked because... It's just me driving the vehicle. Now, if I had other people driving the vehicle, now what's cool, I believe you can also do this in the app. So you can um, change it. Uh, so you wanna make sure that who's taking your car doesn't go joyriding on the highway as fast as they wanna go. <laughs> so sentry mode, I have mine always on, but you can adjust it. Sentry mode is when it's recording. If you want it uh, to always record, um, you can uncheck a few of these things, <clears throat> like exclude home, exclude work, exclude favorites. So you can save certain places where you don't want it to um, record. And then you have save clips on honk, so which is super cool. So as soon as you honk, it's going to save a clip right onto the hard drive. Now, I have the hard drive that's in the glove compartment. Um, so super nice and easy and convenient to get. Uh, park assist chimes. Joe mode. Now I've never used Joe mode. Enabling Joe mode reduces the volume of your car chimes. The quieter chimes continue to alert the driver effectively and minimize disruption to passengers. Okay. Um, never used that. So glove box pen. I guess you can make it even more secure. Uh, not only if someone has no idea how to get into the glove box, they'd have to navigate through this and try to find the glove box button, but you could also add another level of security by giving it a pen uh, if you had something in there that you want to protect. So cabin overheat protection, that's kind of cool. Um, this cabin overheat protection maintains the cabin temperature under 105 degrees Fahrenheit while parked for up to 12 hours after you leave. No AC mode consumes less energy, but temperatures may exceed 105. This feature does not operate when the battery reaches 20% or less. So that's kind of a cool feature. Um, and then service, obviously you can schedule your service uh, through the app, which is super cool. Um, wiper service mode, here's your owner's manual. You know, if you want to go uh, find something about the car, there's your owner's complete owner's manual. Um, super cool. And then you adjust headlights, towing, wheel configuration, locations, camera calibrations, all that good stuff. And then software. If you had a software update, see right now I am at 13, almost 1,500 miles. And, um, you know, it's amazing how I thought I drove more than I do. And uh, now that I watch my miles, or as far as how many miles are left before I need to charge, um, I don't think I drive as much as I thought. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, there we go. Now let's go into some features down at the bottom. So we'll get rid of all that. So that was your main, so your next one is media. So you, what's cool with media, you can tap it once, tap it again, it kind of goes away. So you can actually bring it up and go into um, all your different playlists. And here at the bottom you have karaoke, which is actually pretty fun. If you want to have some fun in the car with friends and family, doing some singing, uh, karaoke, karaoke is actually pretty cool. Um, and then you have obviously, you know, play from your phone, connect your phone, streaming, connecting to my Tesla account. Um, I never really use those. I just pretty much keep it on Spotify and I play my music that way. Um, but you can hit the media button and that goes away. Now the next one is cameras. So sound cameras is pretty cool. So you have your rear camera and then you have your left and right camera on each side of the driver and passenger door. You can also select this button here and it brings up just the rear camera. So nice clear picture of uh, the rear camera, which is super nice. Now, since I'm on camera, the top right hand corner over here by my home button and my home button is my home link, which is super cool. I really like it. Um, but this is your camera feed. So you can save footage or watch the viewer. So if you wanna see what's going on, uh, that's been recorded recently, 
you just go to the viewer. Obviously this is now showing, because I'm in park, the front camera as well, which is actually right behind the rear view camera up high. But um, this is showing Sunday. So let's review back a little bit further in the day. And <laughs> there's me at the back of the vehicle. So I'll click a camera here. So showing me is I'm doing something back there. What am I doing? Yeah, I'm just getting something out of the back, looks like. Oh yeah, I'm unloading the back. Uh, and then and then you can see I walk to the side of the vehicle. So it's kind of cool how you can go through the viewer and see what's going on uh, all the time. So I love that. Now let's move on to the next button here, which is a simple button for windshield wipers. Um, you have different levels of speed and then you have auto. I always keep it on auto. Obviously, you probably want to turn it off auto if you're going into the uh, car wash. If you if you guys actually take yours into a car wash, I prefer to hand wash mine, but uh, some people are okay with taking it to the car washes. So, and this next button is one that has all kinds of stuff. So you have phone calls, calendar, so you can integrate your calendars in. Um, so I have nothing going on today. Um, and I just unhooked my phone just to get off the Bluetooth. Uh, again, there's another way of getting to the cameras again and seeing what we saw a while ago, you know, going straight to cameras or you can get through here this way. You have energy, which is just telling you your projected range or average range. Um, this is a uh, Model Y performance, so I don't get as many miles as the long range version does, but I'm okay with that. So, so there's that. So you have consumption, you can do trip. As you can see, I don't take trips. <laughs> so, uh, charging. So now you can set your charging. I do a current rate at 48 amps. Um, I have the home charger at the uh, at the house, and uh, I only charge to 90%. But you can go here and you can actually schedule um, your charging. So if you want to stay within smart hours of your charging uh, times at your house, and then you can go here and set limits. So daily, set any daily levels, and then trips. So. I have my daily down here at 90% and then trips is pretty much 100%. So I have 235 miles left on the battery. And let's go to, it's all kinds of, you have the web. Now <laughs> it works. Um, and I think the last website we went to is, um, yeah, it's just a, it, this is my company. So we went to, um, you know, you can go to websites and stuff. It's not extremely fast, guys. Um, so <laughs> uh, if you're gonna do any web surfing, I would stick to um, your mobile device. <laughs> so um, let's move it on in. So entertainment, so entertainment, there's all kinds of cool things. So you have all your different games, um, you know, back gaming. Now this game is really cool. It's one that actually uh, allows you to use your steering wheel. You can play uh, with the audio going through the system. Um, from the game, so that's super cool. Now, if you wanna like listen to your own music and then still play a game, one that we found that was actually pretty cool, and it's just, it's a basic game, is Solitaire. So Solitaire allows you to choose your music, so you can be playing your music and then still play um, some Solitaire um, while you're waiting on your car to charge or whatever, or just hanging out or wasting some time. So quite a few games, you know, got Centipede, Asteroids, Super Breakout, Lander, Missile Command, Millipede, Tempest, and uh, Grab Josh. So quite a few cool games in there um, to kind of pass time. And then you have theater. Now theater is Netflix, Hulu, YouTube. You have Twitch and, and some Tesla tutorials. So you can actually sit here and go Netflix and play some of uh, uh, your favorite uh, TV shows or movies. And it actually works pretty well. Um, it takes a few minutes to load up, but um, We've actually had good luck with it, and uh, I don't think I've been, ever been at a charging station where I needed to watch a whole movie, but anyway, it brings up all your accounts. So there's our account stuff. So we'll exit out of that. And I believe that's all for entertainment. Yep, so like I say, YouTube and all that kind of stuff. They'll give you tons of stuff to do there. But now let's go to Toy Box. So Toy Box, <laughs> obviously you could do some pretty fun things with toy box. Um, 
you know, you have boom box. So that's what this is, your default's boom box. So right here it tells you, you can play current media, which means, um, which one thing we found out that's really cool is that uh, you can play your music inside, hit this play current media button to play it on your outside speaker, and you can actually turn the volume up for both. So not only the volume of the speakers in the cabin goes louder, but so does the speaker outside for, um, uh, for the speak, you know, for the boombox speaker, uh, which is up front underneath the uh, the frunk. So it actually sounds okay. It's not a uh, yeah. It's not to the level of audio quality as the speakers inside the cab. So don't think it's uh, it's going to sound phenomenal because it's not. But uh, it is kind of cool. So and then you have horn sounds. Now it only see where it says replace horn. It only will allow you to replace horn when it's in park. Now watch when I go to put it in drive you see how that goes away so <laughs> it has to be um, the horn sound first so I'll put it back in park then it gives me the option of doing replace horn so uh, obviously if you have it in park you can play with you know mess around with people and change sounds I'm sure most of you guys have heard all the sounds but let me show you um, all the different ones you have posh and I'll be quiet just for a second on each of these so you can kind of hear what they sound like. Well, I never. <laughs> well, I never. That's kind of funny. And then let's go to Toss a Coin, which I don't think is very good. Toss a coin to your witcher. <laughs> okay. And then we have the goat. <laughs> How many of you guys use the goat? Let me know in the comments. Old horn. That was actually kind of cool. I kind of like that one. Applause. I'm not going to lie. I think I've used that one once or twice. Uh, Ta-da. Kind of lame, I think, in my opinion, but hey, who uses that one? And then, Badam. I would say that's another lame one, in my opinion, but uh, yeah. And then, DJ. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that one either. And then, the last one we have is Laga Karacha. <laughs> so there we go. There is our sounds that we can choose from. And obviously, uh, you can go down here and pick, you know, driving sounds. So it's driving. I, actually, these have a few different sounds uh, for driving. So you have ice cream, um, toss of coins in the other one. You have elevator music, coconuts, rainforest, rock and roll, harp. Oops. Um merry-go-round and caribbean so you have do you do have quite a few different sounds there but i think all those same sounds is also in your summon um yeah so all those same sounds are the same sounds as in your summon and again you could also play current media so <laughs> lots of fun there uh you could obviously have with sounds so and then of course you have emissions you know you can change where you want the sounds to travel in all the different seats. You can do different on demand, I'm so random, and you can change to all the different types <laughs> of um, farts and whatnot. So, pretty obnoxious. <laughs> so, uh, and then like I said, you can do fart on turn signal, all that kind of stuff. So if that uh, makes you laugh, then, uh, then do that. <laughs> So um, here's tracks, um, record your next, I mean, this is kind of cool. You can actually, um, you know, play instruments and, and just waste some time, but have some fun, you know, making your own little jam session, <laughs> which is kind of cool. Here, let me open up. I'll show you guys. Let it load there. Um, and again, I have no musical talent. Uh, I can't play a single instrument, so this ought to be fun. Um, so we'll see here. 
I've only played this a couple of times, but you can go in and oh, uh, you can do, uh, let's see here. So you can add instruments, drums, If you know what all those are, then you uh, you know way more than me because I do not play instruments, so this is something I would never use. But you can sit here and have a whole drum session, and uh, you know remove track and just create something. It's kind of cool. Probably even really cool if you really know what you're doing. So, uh, <laughs> so I want to stop this and exit out. Uh, we have romance. So you can uh, put on the flames, so we'll get kit cozy. So if you want to do like camping mode, things like that. I don't know if you can hear that guys, but that's actually uh, the burning of the wood. It's pretty cozy though. You know, my wife will have to try that. We'll have to do a little camping mode. Get the mattress thing in the back. I've seen some of you guys do that. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> We've got music with this. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> so you can tap in and add music. That's pretty cool. Alright. What else we got here? Sketch pad. So you can do some sketches with your finger on the screen. Get Mars. Transform your map to... Oh, that's pretty cool. Change it to the different Mars stuff. Santa. Spread holiday cheer around with your... Oh, okay, so... Jingle all the way, spread your... That's pretty neat. Rainbow Road. Push the gear stock down four times quickly when auto steer is engaged. Yes, the road is now a giant rainbow. Everyone needs more cowbell. So, <laughs> just something else for entertainment. All right, guys. Um, Let's keep going. So, now we have seat warmers. So, you have... This is the driver's seat. That's the passenger seat over there. So, each tap... It starts off with high, medium, low. Now, another way to access the seat warmers is by selecting the fan. And the cool thing about the fan is right here in the left-hand corner, there's the seat warmer. There's warmers. So you select it, and now it shows all the seats. So you can individually tap on a seat and tell it what level you want it, which is super cool. So you can keep tapping each seat. Maybe the middle guy just wants it on low. They want theirs on medium you know, so forth, or all off. Super easy, and then of course I have um, heated steering wheel, so I'll have that feature right there. And then, what's cool, so right now I have it on um, one. Uh, if I want to unsync it, I guess. So now I have two temperatures there. So now each side has their own air and adjustment. So you can adjust these up and down. See like this, guys up and down and then out ah. yeah, spread it out like that with your fingers so all kinds of cool adjustments you can make with the fans this is your plus minus or sorry yeah plus minus meaning fan speed going higher or lower here's your modes for dog mode camping mode you can schedule so you can schedule your um you know your heat and air um, we have auto, and then we have these buttons over here. So you have your off button. You have just the upper section, which is like your defrost area on the on the upper window. You have the middle section, which are these vents, and then you have the lowers, which is your footboards. So obviously you can individually adjust all of those. So super cool. I really like that layout uh, for the uh, heat and air. Um, so I want to take this back to. I want to sync it because it's usually just one. All right, so we have left driver's chair, passenger chair, and then you have rear defrost and front defrost, and then you have volume. Now, here's my here's my uh, negative. I do not like the why is volume all the way to the furthest point from the from the driver. I mean, I don't get that. Why is the volume and volume's only for media? Why is it not way over here by the media? I would think it'd be. In this section, not way over there, because I have to reach to to touch that. So, anyway, and then the last feature is um, Homelink, which I added. It was a three hundred dollar add-on, and you select it, 
and what I have it programmed is, um, let me see here, my homework settings. So I can add in my name, so there's my name. So I have it where auto folds in the mirrors every time that I get within 50 feet of the house. So super cool. Now I did have it auto close, but the, <laughs> the, the problem with that was I was pulling out of the garage and not always leaving. I was just staying in the, staying in the driveway and then coming back in and it would close the garage door. <laughs> so I took off the auto close because I don't always leave when I pull out of the, the uh, garage. So, but I do love that every time within 50 feet, it chimes, it lets me know that um, it's fixing to open the door, it opens the door, pulls in the mirrors, super cool. And then when I go to drive away, it automatically opens the mirrors. Um, so I really do like the home link feature, guys. So um, I believe that's it on everything that's in the vehicle. Hey guys, I'm gonna take you right back into media. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> take you back into Boombox, which is in your toy box section over here. And as you can see, you know, we have horn sound, driving sound, and semi sound like before. Now, once you go into <clears throat> the arrow, at the bottom, it'll say USB and then the name of your file. So um, you might want to name them exactly what you uh, want them called so you can know which one is which and that sort of thing. So I created one called USB motor running loudly, um, big motor room and big motor or car rev. So let's see here, let's, let's go ahead and try a few of these so you can hear them. Matter of fact, we're going to uh, put it under driving sound because they, they show up there too. So this is the one running loudly. So see what you guys think. <laughs> you can you can actually trim up the audio inside to kind of enhance it from the speaker outside. So that right there is just outside. <laughs> Pretty cool. So let's go to the next one. Big car, big room. <laughs> I don't know why, I just think that's funny. Because it's an electric vehicle and uh, people think it should be quiet. <laughs> so, and then here's the Reb. There you have it. There's your there's your custom sounds. And we did three, you could have up to five, but have some fun with that, guys. All right, guys, so thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys learned something. And if there's something that I didn't mention, uh, just leave those in the comments below. I'm always trying to learn new things. So just like you guys, uh, this is like a, a new learning experience with, with our Tesla. So I uh, can't wait to do the next one for you guys. Uh, like I said, I wanna do some comparison videos on some more tire products. And if you guys, like I said, have any suggestions, Leave those in the comments down below. And I can't wait to do a detailing video on the outside. Some really cool things that I've learned so far and I uh, can't wait to show you those. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to do at least one video every week. Um, coming up with some new content and we'll have some interior stuff showing you guys full self driving, night driving, all that, all those cool, cool things and a little bit more about the ride. So until next time guys, thanks for watching. We'll see ya.